Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna to be redefining this edge here because as you can see, it's not very straight. At one point it was curved, but we don't really do a lot of work on this, this area here. We just weed it out throughout the year, but I thought it'd be nice just to put a new edge along here. I'm gonna put a nice straight edge and then maybe just try and curve it off at the end, just into where the plant pot is there. And then this year, I said to the customer, try and get some bedding plants in here because this area is not used. It's just more of a decorative shed. So, if you enjoy these type of videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out our Uncut channel, which is full length. So, any videos that we do that we edit, you'll get the full length version on the Uncut channel. That's Acres Dawn Care Uncut. Check that out. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a very weedy bed here and the edge is just very uneven. It comes, it's quite sort of straight here in a way, but it kind of digs out at the end. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna bring it out just a tad more. And then I'm hoping that a nice straight line along, I might not even need to go out that far. Just wanna work out my edge. So I'll use a board here, which just gives me a nice straight edge. Um, and then I'm doing this to eye, just looking kind of sort of checking the width so we're not going off, you know, we try and just kind of keep it a nice sort of rectangular shape. So have a look at this. And what I'm going to do is just bring that down here again. And just hopefully, so I need to come out a tad more. So I'm going to come out just about there, like so, and then. I'm going to mark that and then I'm going to cut it. Right, so what I've done is I've made a mark. Now, if I'm not happy with that mark, I don't have to lift that, but I am relatively happy with that. It's a nice straight edge. I've given it a little bit of a curve at the end. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift that up and then we are just gonna clear the way the old turf and then we can start weeding out the bed. whole point of the curve is just to keep the bed flowing in with the garden because the rest of the garden as you can see curves so I just want to try and keep those curves as well just to make sure that it's not all straight lines but here because of the because of the shed I just thought it'd be better just to have a nice straight line and then we can have some bedding plants in there Right, so let's see what we got. So as you can see, nice straight line there. And I would say that is pretty much spot on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it a nice weed out just to keep it nice and healthy. So let me draw back the camera for you so you can get a better 
a look of what's going on. Got some good soil here. This this lawn was laid on some very good topsoil. So what we're going to try and do is just just knock some of this soil off so we don't waste any. And then we're just getting rid of the sod then, keeping a bit of the, the good soil. So we don't want to waste soil. I mean, if you had a compost bin, you could stick straight into the compost bin. But this is my way. If you um, do it a different way, let us know in the comments how you cut your edges. Um, a lot of people ask me what the tool is I was using. I call it a half moon, a D tool. Um, it's just great for cutting. I had a few people from all around the world asking me what this tool is. So yeah, it's the half moon or D tool. You could probably order them from the UK somewhere. It's better than using a shovel or a spade because it's got a perfectly flat edge. So if you are trying to do a nice straight edge, you can do it. Oh, it's fun this is the best time of year to weed for us so we're in march time at the minute and um we had a lot of rain but so it's just made the ground nice and moist but the soil crumbles away so it's not too not too boggy so the weeds just kind of like for example like here you can see they just sort of seem to just come off they're not all sticking and glooping together which is good And that also depends on the type of soil you have as well. If you've got quite clay soil, you're more likely going to struggle. But this soil seems to be pretty good. So just give the weeds a shake. Mainly, it's just mainly bits of grass that have grown.
Okay, and that's basically how I put an edge on the bed. It's a nice straight line. Um, up here is a little bit, I didn't want to go too far over. It's a little bit loose here. So when the summer comes, it should sort of strengthen up a little bit. But I didn't want to take too much soil away. I didn't want to make the bed too big. But as you can see, nice and weeded out. Nice straight line with a little curve at the end. Could do with a bit more. I mean, it's quite hairy here. I could just sort of uh, neaten up the edges there. But as you can see, this is the garden. So, zoom in, man. Yeah, come in. Come on in, guys. Come on in closer. So, if you are going to tie your trees back, obviously to try and straighten them up at all, make sure you just move this around each year. Just get another one to help pull it back and then move it about. Because otherwise, if you leave it there, you can see the damage it does to the tree. And it doesn't help it. Really, you should have rubber ties and stuff, but we don't have them right now, so this will do. And it will just stand nice and straight for a while. Lovely job, mate. Documentary. And that's it. But thank you for watching guys um consider liking and subscribing that'd be awesome i'm gonna indulge in a cup of tea now but we'll see you in the next one